Time to find out what the Quran actually says. I'm a surat. Al Inshikak, the splitting asunder. When the heaven is split asunder and listens to and obeys its Lord, it must do so. And when the earth is stretched forth and has cast all that was in it and became empty and listens to and obeys its Lord, and it must do so. O oh man, verily you are returning towards your Lord with your deeds and actions. A sure returning, and you will meet. <clears throat> then, for him who will be given his record in his right hand, he surely will receive an easy reckoning, and will return to his family in joy. But whosoever is given his record behind his back, he will invoke destruction. And he shall enter a blazing fire and be made to taste its burning. Verily, he was among his people in joy. Verily, he thought he would never come back. Yes, verily, the Lord, his Lord, has been ever beholding him. And so I swear by the afterglow of sunset, and by the night, and whatsoever gathers in its darkness, and by the moon when it is at the full, you shall certainly travel from stage to stage. What is the matter with them that they believe not? And when the Quran is recited to them, they fall not prostrate. Nay, those who disbelieve belie, and Allah knows best what they gather, so announce to them a painful torment. Save those who believe and do righteous good deeds. For them is a reward that will never come to an end. Eighty four The Splitting When the heaven splits and listens to its Lord, and it is fulfilled, and when the earth is expanded and casts out what is in it, and it becomes empty, and listens to its Lord, and it was fulfilled. O oh, you, the human, surely you strive to your Lord, striving so you will meet him. So as for who is given his book in his right hand, so he will be judged with an easy judgment, and he will return pleased to his family. And as for who is given his book from behind his back, so he will call perdition, and he will roast in a blaze. Surely he was happy among his family. Surely he thought he would never return. Yes, surely his Lord was watching him. So I will not swear by the twilight and the night and what it gathers, and the moon when it is full. And you surely mount stage by stage, so why do they not believe? And when the Quran is recited to them, they do not worship, yet those who became infidels deny, and Allah knows what they keep. So give them the good news of a painful torment, except those who believed and did good deeds, they will have an unending wage. Wait, so I will not swear? Is that what it said? Says will swear, do swear. So I swear. Wow, that one got translated very differently by the two different translators. <laughs> okay, Alif Lam Mim. This uh, is Surat Arum. The Romans have been defeated in the nearest land, and they, after their defeat, will be victorious. Within three to nine years, the decision of the matter before and after is only with Allah. On, and on the day, the believers will rejoice. With the help of Allah, he helps 
whom he wills, and he is the Almighty, the most merciful. A promise of Allah, and Allah fails not in his promise, but most of men know not. They know only the outside appearance of the life of the world, and they are heedless of the hereafter. Do they not think deeply about themselves? Allah has created not the heavens and the earth and all that is between them, except with truth and for an appointed term, and indeed many of mankind deny the meeting with their Lord, well, do they not travel in the land and see what was the end of those before them? They were superior to them in strength, and they tilled the earth and populated it in greater numbers than these have done, and there came to them their messengers with clear proofs. Surely Allah wronged them not, but they used to wrong themselves. Then evil was the end of those who did evil because they belied. Let's see of Allah and made a mockery of them. Allah originates the creation, then he will repeat it, then to him you will be returned. And on the day when the hour will be established, the will be plunged into destruction with despair. No intercessors will they have from those who they, whom they made equal with Allah and they will reject and deny their partners. And on the day when the hour will be established, that day shall be separated. Then, as for those who believed and did righteous good deeds, such shall be honored and made to enjoy a luxurious life. And as for those who believed and belied our Let's see. Um, and the meeting of the hereafter, such shall be brought forth to the torment. So glorify Allah. When you come up to the evening, and when you enter the morning, and his are all the praises and thanks in the heavens and the earth, and in the afternoon, and when you come to up to the time when the day begins to decline, he brings out the living from the dead, and brings out the dead from the living, and he revives the earth after his death, and thus shall you be brought out. And among his signs is this, that he created you from dust, and then, behold, you are human beings scattered. And among his signs is this, that he created you, wives, from among yourselves, that you may find repose in them. And he has put between you affection and mercy. Verily, in that are indeed signs for people who reflect. And among his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the difference of your language is and colors. Verily, in that are indeed signs for men of sound and knowledge. And among his signs is your sleep by night and by day, and your seeking of his bounty, verily, in this are indeed signs for people who listen. And among his signs is that he shows you the lightning for fear and for hope, and he sends down water from the sky, and therewith revives the earth after its death. Verily, in this are indeed signs for people who understand. And among his signs is that the heaven and the earth stand by his command. Then afterwards, when he will call you by a single call, behold, you will come out from the earth. Um, to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth. All are obedient to him. And he it is who originates the creation. Then he will repeat it. And, let's see, this is easier for him. His is the highest description. In the heavens and in the earth, He is the Almighty, the All-Wise. He sets forth for you a parable from uh, your own selves. Do you have partners among those whom your right hands possess to share as equals in the wealth? 
We have bestowed on you whom you fear as you fear each other. Thus do we explain the signs in detail to people who have sense. Nay, but those who do wrong follow their own lusts without knowledge. Then who will guide him whom Allah has sent astray? And for such there will be no helpers. So set you your face towards the religion um, with which he has created mankind. No change let there be in. That is the straight religion, but most of men know not. Turning in repentance to him, and be afraid and dutiful to him. And perform, and be not of the... Let's see, of those who split up their religion and became sects, each sect rejoicing in that which is with it. And when harm touches men, they cry sincerely only to their Lord, returning to him in repentance. But when he gives them a taste of his mercy, behold, a party of them associates partners in worship with their Lord. So, as to be ungrateful for the graces which we have bestowed on them, then enjoy, but you will come to know. Or have we revealed to them an authority which speaks of that which they have been associating with them? And when we cause mankind to taste of mercy, they rejoice therein, but when some evil afflicts them because of that their own hands have set forth, behold, they are in despair. Do they not see that Allah enlarges the provision for whom he wills, and straightens, verily, in that are indeed signs for people who believe. So give to the kindred his due, and to, and to the wayfarer, that is best for those who seek Allah's countenance, and it is they who will be successful. Okay, chapter 30, Sir 30. The Byzantines. Alam. Footnote A, a word containing three Arabic letters without meaning. The Rum of footnote B, Byzantines, non Arabic word of Greek origin, um, are defeated in a near part of the land. And after having been defeated, they will be victorious within a few years. To Allah is the affair, before and after. And on that day, the believers will rejoice. With the victory of Allah, he will give victory, whom he wills. And he is the dear, the merciful, the promise of Allah. Allah does not change his promise, but most people do not know. They know the visible of the world's life, and they are unaware about the hereafter. Have they, let's see, have they not considered in themselves that Allah did not create the heavens and the earth, and what is between them? except with the truth, and for an appointed time. And surely, most people are infidels in the meeting, meeting of their Lord. <clears throat> Let's see. Have they not walked on the earth? So they see how was the end of those who were before them. They were mightier than them in strength, and those who plowed the earth and constructed it more than they constructed it. And their messengers came to them with proofs. Uh, so it was not for Allah to treat them unjustly, but they were treating themselves unjustly. Okay. Uh, there definitely have been fallen civilizations throughout Earth, and ruins, and destroyed buildings, abandoned buildings. I don't think it's that clear from just the archaeological evidence why those people were destroyed. And from the archaeological evidence, is it clear why they were destroyed, or that they were so powerful? Um, what we just read makes it sound like 
it should be obvious from the archaeological evidence, but I don't think the archaeological evidence is that strong for some of these claims. Uh, back to the book. Then evil was the end, this is verse 10, of those, or uh, ayat 10, and of those who did the evil because they denied Allah's verses, and they were scoffing at it. Allah began the creation, then he repeats it. Then to him you will return. And a day the hour will rise, the criminals will be in despair, and it was not for them any intercessors from their partners, and they were infidels with their partners. And a day the hour will rise. On that day, they will be separated. So as for those who believed and did good deeds, so they are happy in the Rauda. Footnote A. Luxurious gardens. Non-Arabic word of Havilic origin. And as for those who became infidels and denied our verses and the meeting of the hereafter, so those will be brought to the torment. So praise be to Allah when you come to the evening and when you come to the morning, and to him the praise in the heavens and the earth, and at night, and when you come to the noon, he brings forth the living out of the dead, and brings forth the dead out of the living, and he gives the earth life after its death, and likewise you will be brought forth. And of his signs he created you from the dust, then behold, you are scattered humans, and of his signs that he created to you from your souls, wives, so that you may dwell in her, and he has established friendship and mercy between you. Surely in this are signs to a reflecting people. And of his signs the creation of the heavens and the earth, and your variety of tongues and colors. Surely in this are signs to those who know. And of his signs is your sleep by night and day, and your seeking of his bounty. Surely in these are signs to hearing people, and of his signs are that he shows you the lightning, fearing and hoping, and he sends water from the heavens, so he gives life by it to the earth after its death. Surely in this are signs to understanding people. I'm very confused how different languages and skin colors is a sign that <clears throat> should make me uh, join this religion. Feel free to describe in the comment section. Um, maybe you can be more clear than the Quran is how it's a sign. Real quick. Does that mean if everyone was speaking the same language I shouldn't join... Uh, join Islam? Does that mean if there's a world out there God has created and populated that only speaks one language or only has one skin color that the people on that planet don't have a sign from Allah or the people on that planet should not be worshipping Allah? Okay, back to the book. Let's see, 25, and of his signs that the heaven and the earth stand at his command. Then if he calls you with a call from the earth, behold, you come forth. And to him, what is in the heavens and the earth? All to him are obedient. And he is who begins a creation. Then he repeats it. And to him, it is easy. And to him, the highest example in the heavens and the earth, he is the dear, the wise. He sets forth a parable for you from among yourselves. Do you have from what your right hand possessed of partners and what we provided for you, so you are alike in it? Do you fear them as you fear yourselves? Likewise, we expound the verses to an understanding people. Yet the unjust follow their desires without knowledge. So who can guide whom Allah misled? Oh, time to turn off an alarm clock.
Be right back. Sura 30, I'll room, huh? Alright. Alright, I have just transformed into an alarm clock. Am I not the best alarm clock? Alright. That parable has me bewildered. What does it mean? What's there to learn from it? How does having slaves show anything? I don't know. If you can be more clear than the Quran, feel free in the comments. Help me to understand. <laughs> there have been those, oh. I've seen some really less effective people or Muslims writing rude things in the comments section. I won't be surprised if I get more rude comments <laughs> out of this one. But feel free to surprise me and not be uh, rude, uh, you Muslims out there. Or the non-rude Muslims, feel free to overwhelm the rude Muslims with down votes and um, kind comments. I I would do that if I saw somebody commenting on my religion or reading my religion's books and they were confused and the comments were full of members of my church um, calling them mean names and threatening their life and things. <laughs> like that. So set your face to the religion, Hanifan, the natural instinct of Allah, which people grow up into it. There is no exchange in the creation of Allah. This is the right religion, but most people do not know. Turning to him and fear him, and perform the prayer, and do not be of the polytheist, of those who have split up their religion, and they were parties where every group rejoices in what they have. And when some harm touches the people, they call on their Lord, turning to him. Then if he causes them to taste their mercy from him, behold, a group of them have other partners with their Lord to become infidels in what we gave them. So enjoy, so you will know. Or have we, see, or we have sent down an authority on them, so he will speak about what they were partnering. And when we cause the people to taste mercy, they rejoice in it. And if an evil touches them because of what their hand has produced, behold, they are in despair. Have they not seen what Allah expands and measures and provision to whom he wills? Surely in this are signs to a believing people. So give to the nearest relative his due, and the needy, and the son of the way. This is best to those who desire the face of Allah, and those are the prosperous. Ah. Uh. Um, I did feel the need to comment on things that were confusing there, but there are some beautiful truths in there that I, uh, are common ground. Um, so there is a creator. Um, it's evident from nature things could not have just sprung up without someone and something powerful making this earth come together and a life uh, be on it. It denounced polytheist, although it didn't, didn't describe polytheists the way I would have, but you polytheists out there, those of you who have more than one being to whom you speak while believing that that being hears you, and not because of near presence or technology, and believe that being has power to influence things. And you pray to a different one of those beings at different, um, based on a different occasion or need, or based on who you are, what your job is, but the next person you believe with a different job should pray to a different being. Stop it. Repent. That's not the right way to live. 
and there will be a resurrection and judgment. Um, that's some common ground with the truth there and what we just read. All right, 39. And that which you give in gift, in order that it may increase from other people's property, has no increase with Allah. But that which you give in seeking Allah's countenance, then those, they shall have manifold increase. Allah is he who created you, then provided food for you, then will cause you to die, then he will give you life. Is there any of your partners that do any of that? Glory be to him, and exalted be he above all that they associate with him. Evil has appeared on land and sea because of what the hands of men have earned. And he may make them taste a part of that which they have done in order that they may return. Say, travel in the land and see what you see what was the end of those before. Most of them were. So set you your face to the straight and right religion. Before there comes from Allah a day which none can avert. On that day men shall be divided, a group in paradise and a let's see. Oh no, that was in parentheses. Men shall be divided. Whosoever disbelieves will suffer from his disbelief, and whosoever does righteous good deeds, then such will prepare a good place for themselves, that he may reward those who believe and do righteous good deeds out of his bounty. Verily, he likes not the disbelievers. And among his signs is this, that he sends the winds as glad tidings, giving you a taste of his mercy, and that the ships may sail at his command, and that you may seek of his bounty in order that you may be thankful. And indeed, we did send messengers before you to their own peoples. They came to them with clear proofs. Then we took vengeance on those who committed crimes. And the believers, it was incumbent upon us to help. Allah is he who sends the winds, so that they raise clouds and spread them along the sky as he wills, and then break them into fragments until you see raindrops come forth from their midst. And then, when he has made them fall on whom of his slaves he wills, lo, they rejoice. And verily before that, just before it was sent down upon them, they were in despair. I think I'm supposed to read 51, yeah, and read 51. <clears throat> Look then at the effects of all his mercy, how he revives the earth after its death. Verily, that shall indeed raise the dead, and he is able to do all things. And if he, let's see, and if we, we send a wind... And they see, let's see, uh, turn yellow. Behold, they then would become unthankful. Let's see, disbelievers. <clears throat> Thirty nine. And whatever you have been given of interest to increase in the people's money, so they will not increase with Allah. And whatever you have brought of legal alms desiring the face of Allah, so those are the ones who will be doubled. Allah who created you, then provided for you, then will cause you to die, then gives you life. Is there any of your partners who do any of those things? Praise be to him. And he is exalted above what they partner. Vandalism has appeared in the shore and the sea because of what the hands of the people have earned, so that he may cause them to taste some of what they have done. Perhaps they may return. Say, walk on the earth, so see how was the end of those before you. Most of them were polytheists. 
So set your face to the right religion before a day will come in which none can turn away from Allah. On that day they will be separated. Whoever becomes an infidel, so his infidelity is on him. And whoever did good deed, so it is for themselves. They prepare that he may reward from his bounty those who have believed and did good deeds. Surely he does not love the infidels, and of his signs that he sends, and of his signs that he sends the winds with good news, so that he may cause you to taste of his mercy, and that ships may sail at his command, and that you may seek from his bounty, and perhaps you may give thanks. And indeed, we sent messengers before you to those people, so they came to them with proofs. So we took revenge on those criminals, and it was our duty to help the believers. Allah is who sends the winds, so they raise clouds, so he spreads them into heaven, however he wills, and he made them break, so you see the rain issuing from their mists. So when it pours down as he wills on the servants, behold, they rejoice. And before it came down on them, they were in despair. So then, let's see, so look then at the traces of Allah's mercy, how he brings life to the earth after its death. Surely this will give life to the dead. And he has might over all things. And if we, if we send a wind, so they see it yellow, they surely continue to be infidels after it. Fifty-two, and if we send a wind, oh, that's fifty-one. Fifty-two, so verily you cannot make the dead to hear, nor can you make the deaf to hear the call, when they show their backs and turn away, and you cannot guide the blind from their straying. You can make to hear only those who believe in our, and have submitted to Allah uh, in Islam. Allah is he who created you in weakness, then gave you strength after weakness, then after strength gave you weakness and gray hair. He creates what he wills, and it is he who is the all-knowing, the all-powerful. <clears throat> and on the day that the hour will be established, the will swear that they stayed not but an hour. Thus uh, were they ever deluded, and those who have been bestowed with knowledge and faith will say, indeed, you have stayed according to the decree of Allah until the day of resurrection. So this is the day of resurrection, but you knew not. So on that day no excuse of theirs will avail those who did wrong. Nor will they be allowed to return to seek Allah's pleasure. And indeed, we have set forth for mankind in this Quran every kind of parable. But if you bring to them any sign or proof, the disbelievers are sure to say, you follow nothing but falsehood and magic. Thus does Allah seal up the hearts of those who know not. So be patient. Verily, the promise of Allah is true. And let not those who have no certainty of faith discourage you from conveying Allah's message. Fifty-nine, fifty-two. So surely you cannot make the dead hear, and you cannot make the death hear the call when they turn their backs, and you cannot guide the blind out of their error. You will make none to hear except who will believe in your verses. So they are Muslims. Allah is who created you from weakness. Then he makes strength after weakness. Then he makes weakness after the strength and gray hair. He created what he wills, and he is the knowing, the mighty. A day the hour will arise. The criminals will swear that they did not stay. But an hour, likewise, they were lying. But those who are given the knowledge and the faith, indeed, say, uh, faith say, indeed, you have waited according to the book of Allah until the sending, 
So this is the sending day, but you were not knowing. So on that day, their excuses will not profit the unjust, neither will they be allowed to repent. And indeed, we gave in this Quran from every parable to the people. And if you bring to them a sign, those who became infidels will surely say, You are but a purveyor of lies. Likewise, Allah seals on the hearts of those who do not know. So be patient. Surely the promise of Allah is true. And do not let those who have no certainty unsettle you. Alright. Got through it. Now it's time to go back to relaxed mode. <laughs> oh, we've got a door closed to the house so that there will be no background noise. And there's somebody in that room who would rather have the door open so the air conditioning gets them. And that's a reasonable hope on their part. Have a good day.